So, I mean, do you get tired of people just bringing up Scary Island to you? Well, it's strange when people DM me and they're like, are you sick? Are you, I'm like, it's sick. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, what? I'm like, they asked me to go in and film a scene. And I was like, I jelly beans. I'm like, okay, I'll just go in there. You know, and people, and you know, that's a really interesting scene because it just shows the dynamic of when people are really scared that they're going to be called out. They do some really nasty things. People, when they're afraid, are like cats in the corner. And I'm just like eating jelly beans, having a good time, just like, you guys, your shit stinks. Well, I will, <laughs> I will always associate you with jelly beans as well to that. Of course, place. jelly beans are delicious. Like, I mean, listen, I'm eating jelly beans, having the time of my life, like having fun, like drinking wine, having dinner, like, you know, trying to encourage people to make, you know, salad dressing, maybe cook their steak themselves and not by a chef that's in the background or you know just try to like actually do things yourself and have some like integrity um but you know people are going to do what they're going to do and they're you know people have their own everyone's going to have their eye on the prize and you know I just I just don't think like that and I don't like need to like I don't need to make other people feel bad so I feel better and was it like a lot of like jockeying or like just filming in general? Was it a lot of like jockeying for camera time and like, I need to get my Always. story there? Always. And like, I didn't have a story because they didn't want me to have a story. It was like, I filmed six days a week. I was, the, the minute that, I, that they got me on Housewives, I filmed six days a week, all the time. And they didn't want my story. They didn't want, you know, to hear about my kids. And you know, you have to remember too, and, and, and this isn't against Bravo, but being a single parent in 2008 was not sexy. And people were not talking about being a single parent. People were not talking about being out there and single and having raising two young kids. Like that was not cool. We just come off a financial crisis. You know, people are freaking out about, you know, if they're gonna pay their mortgages and they wanted to hear from a woman that looks like me talking about raising their kids by themselves and you know how and my hardship it's a joke right so bravo was smart you know they just like they they really focused on you know the interpersonal relationships kind of a darren star kind of vibe um and try to really focus on those interpersonal relationships and trying to get you know women to really get it be ignited by me and it was like very simple it was really easy to all i had to do was walk into a room with like orange hot pants and they would like literally like you know tumble be tumbleweeds I mean they were crazy they were like oh my god could you tell like was that like your role per se like could yeah. you tell totally totally and then you know it's interesting because then when I got you know when my last season was like was my best season because Luann and I and Jill had so much fun together and because it wasn't there wasn't an elephant in the room it was just good news good time you know I spoke about a lot of things that were really important to me because I just was like, you know, it's fun to have Barbie walk into the room, but you know, Barbie has feelings too. And, you know, I just really took, took opportunities and moments when I felt like it was appropriate to let people know a little bit more about me. Did you feel like that season was just so much different? Like a, like a weight has been lifted because Bethany wasn't there. 